Hey, I'm Anthony, and there's only one thing I like more than fishing, and that's catching. Welcome to OC Outdoorsman. Look at that. Look at that wing. Oh, it's so huge. Hey guys, welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. Let's talk about bow fishing. This weekend I'm planning to hit Big Bear to shoot some carp. So I'll be bow fishing for carp from my kayak. I'll be taking up my Old Town Big Water up there for the first time. And now I've been up there in the past with my Hobie Outback and it's been great. So this will be the first time I'll be on my Big Water. But this is the gear that I will be using. As you can see, I do have a compound bow. And this is the Browning Micro Adrenaline. I like this, this particular bow because it's really small. And when you're in a kayak, you know, space is a premium. You don't want a big giant bow with you when, when you're out there. So this is great for that reason. You'll see that I have mounted on it an AMS Retriever. This is the Retriever Pro, uh, Retriever TNT. It comes with the, it's a bottle reel. So all of the, this is 200 pound Dacron line. You connect it to your, your bow fishing arrow and you're good to go. So here's a closer look. You'll see that there is no pressure or drag on here. So really I can just pull this back, fire it off and it will go. You'll see the, the string just comes right out. Now to retrieve it, you'll see that there's this little trigger here that if I pull back on it, it puts tension on the line to where I can reel in the line. You see that? But without me pulling on this trigger, it's in free spool. It'll just go. So it's a really cool design. And then if you take a closer look at my arrow. So here's a bow fishing arrow. Again, this is a, for those of you that are not familiar with bow fishing. There's a slider here that moves freely along the shaft of the arrow and there is a stop right at the end near the knock of the bow, of the arrow. So when it goes off, this will stop the slider from going forward and it'll just, it'll just move. So once you hit the fish, all you have to do is pull back on this device here and start reeling it in and bring in that fish. Now, to take the fish off of the arrow, because by hopefully uh, the fish will stay on the arrow, a lot of times these arrows, these compound bows are so powerful, the arrow will go right through the fish and the fish will end up on your line. And it's a lot harder to take them off once they're on this line. So hopefully they'll stay on the arrow. And all you have to do is loosen up the tip. So I'm just gonna loosen this up. And you'll see that the barbs they're in a fixed position when you first hit the fish. Look at this. These things don't aren't going anywhere. But when you loosen this up, you'll see the, the barbs will then be able to move upward to where this fish will just slide right off. And then when you're ready to, to hunt again, you bring it back down, tighten it, and the barbs are fixed. See that? So that is your bow fishing arrow. Now let's put this back up here. You'll see on my bow, I do have a special arrow rest. The silver, I forget the brand, but this was designed specifically for bow fishing arrows. And you'll see that when I reel this in a little bit, feeds through nicely. You see that? It goes from my bow to the arrow rest and out the front. Now, one important piece of equipment when you're, especially if you're using a compound bow, is this release. You see this little trigger release? The way this works is once you have your arrow knocked, you just put this release around the loop here 
and now when I pull back you'll see it takes the pressure off of your fingers and hands and that's really critical if you're using a compound bow because you will be shooting all day long and this is set at 50 pounds if you're pulling back on the string constantly even with 70 60 70 percent let off it will take its toll on your fingers if you're constantly pulling back and releasing this release will save your fingers and hands so if you're using a compound bow even if it's less than 50 40 pounds 30 pounds you'll feel it and after just an hour or so you'll be in pain this will save your fingers and you'll see it's just a little tap of the trigger and it releases so very important piece of equipment when you're bow fishing unlike deer hunting where you're just getting one or two shots maybe three at the most with carp fishing or bow fishing in general you are constantly taking shots at these fish and this will make a huge difference if you are bow fishing on a lake so yeah really important but that's really it so i'll be using this browning compound bow for my carp fishing adventure this weekend it's gonna be fun